guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna have a look at the uh, TB League uh, Spartan Goddess of War 1-6 scale figure. And uh, as you can see this is the box. Uh, it has a uh, Spartan helmet on the front with the Spartan Goddess of War 1-6 scale figure and the TB League logo on the front. And the side we have the Spartan Goddess of War 1-6 scale figure uh, number PL 2017-107 on the back we have the same as on the front as well as some warnings and the same Goddess of War 1-6 scale figure and made in China on the other side. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at uh, how it's packaged. Uh, you open the box by detaching the front, which is uh, attached by magnets. There are nothing on the inside, which is a uh, a shame they could have used that for like a backdrop or something but as far as the packaging goes uh, TB League does it how it's supposed to be in foam on the top you have this form protection and in the first layer you have uh, the figure uh, the shin armor the arm armor uh, the belt uh, four extra hands and the head sculpt and if you remove that layer in the next one you have her helmet and the shield and the base and Removing that layer, you expose on the bottom one her cape, the sword, and the spear. And uh, I'll remove everything from the box and I'll be right back. Hold on a second. And uh, here are all the contents in the box uh, spread on my desk here and as you can see it's quite a lot uh, let's have a look at them piece by piece here uh, we have this uh, cape thing right here if I can focus that is really nicely detailed and it's uh, sort of heavy too and it looks like it uh, will drape very well it feels like there's some sort of rubber in this uh, detailed pattern on the edge here and you have these uh, straps as you can see here um, not sure how to put it on yet but we'll get there uh, it's a red uh, cape or cloak with this buckle on it really nicely done TB League they're, they're really good at this stuff and the uh, fabric feels really nice nice and heavy and it it drapes well too so yeah uh, next up let's have a look at the belt it is uh, really nicely sculpted 
if I can shine some light at it. Uh, you got this uh, uh, pleather. I think it's pleather. Can't believe it's not leather. But yeah, and it's uh, and you just wrap it around her waist and tie it up with the string. And the belt is plastic and uh, really flexible. You get the uh, sculpted details all around the belt, painted in like a brass um, paint and uh, black washed. Looks really good. Uh, these pieces on the bottom of this skirt pieces are like metal ribbons and yeah look really good then you have these uh, shin guards uh, you got two of them but we'll have a look at one since they're sort of identical just mirrored you got nice sculpting details painted in like a brass sort of painting on black paint they even marked it marked them right and left this one is the right one if it's not the wrong one no it's an R uh, really nicely detailed and black washed and uh, you get this uh, pleather strappings with hooks you just hook on uh, two of those very nicely done I like their work uh, then you have the arm guards that you just take off the hands and slide on they're done the same way it looks like black plastic painted in the brass color black washed and have some really nice sculpting beautiful 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 you can even see some ribbits or whatever you call it on the sides there damn nice work and then we have her helmet which is also plastic uh, same black plastic painted in the same with the same brass paint really nicely detailed and black washed beautiful work and you got the red mohawk thing that the spartan warriors are known for on their helmets and uh, yeah nicely done I'll try to put everything on the figure and Show it in the final section. Uh, you also have the shield, which is plastic, painted with a sort of goldish looking color with uh, tentacles, or yeah, it has, has to be tentacles. I don't see any snake heads, or maybe maybe there are, there are snake heads there. Yeah, they're probably snakes. But uh, yeah, nicely done with uh, some battle damage on it. Clearly been taken a few blows by a sword or something. And on the back you got the handle and the strap. Painted like, you can see the wood grain is sculpted. And painted and probably given a tiny piece of black wash. But uh very nicely done and you also have the spear beautifully detailed too with some silver and gold accents on it on a black rod or staff on the other side you got this beautiful blade with beautiful sculpt work on it in silver and gold paint 
really impressive and yeah and for the last piece of weapon accessory this is the impressive part this sword is all metal uh, yeah, it's 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 metal believe me and it's almost kind of sharp too but uh, very pointy you can definitely stab someone in the eye with this the entire thing I believe everything is metal and uh, given a chrome treatment on the blade gold paint on the handle and uh, painted uh, uh, some sort of purple I think on the handle sculpted beautifully done fingerprint magnet though but uh, let me give it a little light pair yeah really shiny that's impressive for a TB league I don't think I've, I've ever seen them do metal on uh, on weapons before and then you also have their display base uh, it's not a stand but it's more like a dio piece where you can see a sword buried in the sand here a blade over here some skulls and bones a knife and a sheath and uh, sand work is really nicely done over here you see a piece of armor sticking up have a helmet over here with a skull inside it beautiful done and you got the TB League logo on the underside with some sort of uh, filth or something under or I don't know but it's to prevent it to slide on your shelf really nicely done and uh, <clears throat> as I mentioned you get two pairs of extra hands uh, you got, uh, got get uh, two of the sword or staff holding hands uh, there's some paint on the fingernails I can see and the other one is sort of a pointing hand but you can probably use it to hold like the shield or something too but yeah you get two pointing hands for left and right and uh, weapon holding hands for left and right and on the figure itself uh, let me raise the camera a bit like so here you have the figure and uh, the head sculpt as you saw comes loose in the packaging and I just put it on and uh, yeah if I remove some of this stuff here sorry about this but uh, yeah here's the figure And yeah, it's a beautiful fig figure. If I can position the camera here, as you can see. And uh, don't ask me how they got this top armor on, but uh, it's probably been put on and shrunken or something. I don't know, but yeah, you got the chest armor piece, you got the fabric stuff under it, and around her waist give her quick 360 spin 
as you can see she have she comes uh, with uh, two pair of pairs uh, or a pair of uh, jester hands gonna have a better look at it in a moment but yeah that's how she looks let's bring her closer to the camera and check out the head sculpt first beautiful head sculpt if the light can catch it Yeah, got black hair. Really nicely done. Need some fetching about with the hair, but yeah. Uh, the chest armor is done the same way as the rest of the armor. It's uh, probably black plastic too, with uh, that. Uh, brass paint on it nicely detailed and black washed got the red cloth under it and uh, muscle toned body closer look at the jester hands painted the same way as the other hands uh, let's check out yeah she got panties on nicely sculpted body and you have her sandals painted the brown or black strappings with a gold buckle black soul peg holes for some reason there are no peg uh, pegs on the base but uh, there are peg, peg holes there you got this uh, silver piece on the toe part there of the sandal uh, on the camera it doesn't there looks like there's a, a shade brighter on the feet compared to the legs but in hand they look like they match pretty well uh, and yeah that's the body I will try to assemble the armor on her and uh, I'll be right back guys Okay, and then after about 10 minutes of fiddling with the outfit, I managed to get all the armor and stuff on her. And the hardest part uh, was actually the cape. Because uh, of the strappings that needs to go around her arm and connect under the armpits. And uh, yeah, the straps were barely long enough to go into the buckles and make a secure connection but uh, I managed to do it because of the soft body on the figure so everything was uh, pliable enough to actually make it and uh, this is the result uh, I put on both the weapon holding hands to hold the shield and the spear and uh, as you can see the other pairs of hands are on the side there along with the die cast sword uh, she stands up pretty well on the diorama base uh, probably a bit supported by the spear so she doesn't lean forward but uh, yeah 
I wish there were some pegs in the that base to secure her better, but uh, it's just fine as long as nothing is uh, rocking the shelf or something like that. It's a beautiful di display piece. Uh, TB League has done it again. Uh, a fantastic looking figure with uh, massive attention to details and uh, I'm proud of being the owner of this figure because uh, uh, I think uh, TB League is my number one wanted scale company from now on and has been for a long time actually uh, I'm really satisfied with their products the amount of accessories, the attention to detail, the quality overall. So I would highly recommend getting this figure if you're into female characters and TB League figures in general. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to try to spin the figure around on this base one last time. Praying that it will will stay <laughs> on its feet, but uh, we'll give it a chance there on a slow rotation. I really love the base and how TB League goes about to, to do their figures. Really impressive work, especially this this uh, cape or cloak. It's uh, really beautiful done. there yeah that was my review on the TB League Spartan Goddess of War figure I hope you enjoyed it if you like this video please give it a thumb up and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and uh, as always go nuts in the comments and uh, I'll catch you on the next one guys bye bye